before this video starts, I uh, I just want to tell you guys to think for yourself. Don't just agree with what I have to say. If you disagree on anything, tell me in the comments down below. Try and convince me as to why I'm wrong. And let's turn this whole thing into a discussion. I want the game to flourish. I love the game. I've been playing it for almost every day for over a year now. So please feel free to try and change my mind. And if you're just gonna post shitty comments like Fuck you, you suck, I hate you, you're just a noob. Then please don't. I'm just gonna remove those comments because they honestly doesn't contribute to anything at all. So... Yeah, thanks. Hello there guys, welcome to this video. TG here, and today we're going to talk about the fact that Mobile Legends is dying. And no, don't click away from this video yet. Just listen to me. I promise it sounds weird because like the game is bigger than ever, but at the same time it's dying. I'm going to explain everything. I just want to start off by saying that I really enjoyed playing Mobile Legends for a very very long time. I've been playing it for almost every day for about a year, roughly. A bit more and I've had a great time it's uh, <laughs> hell it's what I built my channel on and I I really enjoy mobile legends but we can't deny the fact that more and more people are leaving the game a big point where you can see that is actually on YouTube almost everyone of the big mobile legends youtubers are gone which is really really sad like we used to have iFlex, uh, Astave, uh, Gimmick, Blue Panda, a lot more YouTubers that were speaking English and they were bringing people from different parts of the world together with this game. They had a good time. It connected people from all over the world, but looking at it today, there's not really a lot of them left. I mean, Blue Panda is still left. He's not doing as good as he used to. I'm not doing as good as I used to either. Gamic is kind of dead. Iflex switched to Arena Valor, which I totally get because there's no competitive play in Europe. I'm gonna get to that later. As they switched to Arena Valor, there is no competitive play in the US either. And I mean, there's still some YouTubers left, but most are Indonesian now. So, like, they, they speak their own language. They're creating like a bubble around the Indonesian people. And I just like Oh, how am I supposed to explain this in a in a good way? I think it's good that the Indonesian YouTubers are getting really big. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on anyone or anything. I love the fact that they're getting so huge and they're having so fun with the viewers and everything. It's more the fact that they're actually creating a bubble around themselves. That I don't really like. Like, 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 haha. <laughs> I enjoyed talking to people from all over the world, learning about new cultures, new places, and everything from a freaking mobile game. I never thought that would be a thing, like, ever. But it was, and it was so freaking amazing to play with people from all over the world. And have fun and learn from each other. And like, here's the main point I'm trying to make. Mobile Legends is a Chinese company whose main focus is Indonesia and Malaysia. And that's because that's where they make the most money. I totally get that. It's a business. They want to make money, as much money as possible. But the fact that they're only focusing on Malaysia and Indonesia well, not only focusing, but mainly focusing on them. Well, it decreases the population of the game in the rest of the world. And yeah, they recently released like 
a developer talk thing, which I thought was amazing. We've never really had a word from the developers like that before. So I really enjoyed that. Good on you, Moontoon. Continue with that stuff. Loved it. But in that video, they said that they, uh, they ho have over 1,000 servers. Which I... Uh, I mean, doesn't feel like that, but sure. They have a lot of players. I guess they need a lot of servers. They've actually installed servers in Germany now. And in Brazil, I think it was. So that's cool. They're actually p switching some of their focus to Europe and to the US. And I really enjoy that, but... Like, you have to do more, guys. The reason why all of the high-ranked players are quitting MOMA Legends right now in Europe and in the US is because there's really no reason to continue. You really can't get anything from it, while in other games like Arena of Valor, there's like competitions and stuff. You can actually get money from playing Arena of Valor if you have a good team and you enter competitions and you win. You don't even have a chance to do that in Mobile Legends, at least not in Europe and in the US. Mobile Legends had this thing called MSC, which was a really big thing. Honestly, I was so hyped and amazed by the fact that they actually did that. But it's only in Asia, and like they're only focusing all of their eSport e things in Asia. And I re <laughs> it's really sad, because I want the game to succeed, I want the game to be better. And I want the game to be as big as it can possibly be, but I want them to focus on other parts of the world as well, because... Pretty much everyone that I knew who played the game are either really tired of it, because like there's nothing to do, but they've already invested so much money in skins and other stuff that they don't want to stop, but they're not really having a good time anymore. And that's so sad, honestly. In the current patch of Mobile Legends, which is 1.2.88 at the time of this video, they've actually implemented some really nice changes to the, uh, the matchmaking system. They've increased the amount of points you lose. You can now lose up to 17 points from being AFK and being toxic and stuff. Which is amazing, and the game actually announces who's being AFK, so everyone in the game knows, like, okay, he's AFK, let's report him. So it actually matters now if you report people, which is insane. That's never actually been a thing. So kudos on you, Mobile Legends or Moontoon. Keep up the great work. I love the fact that you're actually listening to us for once and that you're actually doing something instead of just releasing skins. So I can't really complain about much right now. But there's still some things I can't complain about. And, like, listen to me, because this is gonna be really it, it's gonna sound really strange okay i can't really complain about much anymore but there's still some things that are really annoying and broken about the game first off something that probably all of you can agree to <laughs> nine out of ten events in this game are super rigged take the magic wheel for example i have a video here from blue panna which he let me use for this video, because he sort of agrees with the, what I have to say, he spent, <laughs> get this, almost 400 US dollars to get the legendary Mia skin, only to get the magic crystal at like the last few draws. Is take a look at this. Look at this. Let's go back. I got the magic crystal, but that is bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit though. Like the mat, the magic points didn't go up. Rules. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if it says here, but what I can remember, when you hit 200 mana points, you will get the crystal. I already got the crystal, and I need 7 more spins to get 200 mana points. That's, does that mean that I will gonna get another mana crystal so I can buy both of them? I mean, that would be amazing. Let's try to spin here again. Look at that, that's, it's bugged out. Bro, that sucks. So, yeah, around 16,000 diamonds to get the skin, just to get the magic crystal right in the end. And the game didn't allow him to get any more points, which was even more shitty. Honestly, it's really insane. And then we have the Lucky Box event. Uh, just look at this. The first thing which we have to do is to go ahead and remove things we don't need. 
Here we go. Let's go to start this. Let's go to get it on the first roll. No, okay. So now we have Akai left. We have the tag emblems and we have the skin, okay? And if you've seen the videos which I have done before, when I've done the Lucky Box event, which was a long time ago, because they, they haven't made a Lucky Box in so long, either way, it usually, you usually get the skin, um, not at the end, but uh, the roll before then. Look at this, I'm not even gonna watch. We got Lancelot right now, look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm... Okay, that's not... <laughs> that is not Lancelot. <laughs> okay, well great, we're getting him at the last roll. All right. Yeah, I mean we can't land on anything else. There we go Okay, so we spent almost 3,000 diamonds on the uh, on the lucky box. That's like $60 and around 16,000 diamonds on the lucky spin very very lucky pay a lot of money get the skin you want. It's, it's not luck. It's you buy the skin, oh my god. Rename rename the events, please. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, most of you can probably agree with the fact that the game is really rigged. The events in the game are, like, crazy rigged. It's not even fun. And I haven't really tried any of these events because, frankly, I don't have the money to put out almost 400 US dollars on a skin in the game. Like, it's, no, I can't do that. It's way too expensive. You know what you can buy for 400 US dollars? An Oculus Rift. You can buy a brand new bike. You can buy a PS4 and an Xbox One. You can buy a new TV. You, you can buy so much stuff. Like, you can probably get an Xbox One, a TV, and probably a couch for 400 bucks, like, in total. What? Or you can buy one skin in the game. Or you can get a new gaming PC, probably a pretty good PC for around 400 bucks, I, I guess. But no, let's buy a skin instead. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Honestly, the game's events are so freaking rigged. But that doesn't really have anything to do with the game dying, though. As I said, it's mostly the matchmaking, which is the problem, and they're addressing some of that now with the uh, AFK fixes and, like, reports and everything actually having an effect. Which I really hope is gonna have an effect long-term on the game's matchmaking, but they have to put more focus on Europe. Like, I don't even see advertisements anymore for Mobile Legends. I used to see them all the time before, which was amazing, because, like... A lot of people that I actually knew in real life was actually gonna try the game because they saw advertisements on YouTube. But please don't make the advertisements so cringy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Huh? Some white thing just came out from the back. No, 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 no. Don't chase after me. Pursue other people, please. Help. Anybody. Johnson. Drive me to home. Drive Honestly, it's way too cringe. You just use us on YouTube. To do your work, we we can do a way better job than this, in all honesty. But uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. Love you. Bye.